Hey everyone, welcome to the Decorative Den, a look inside my craft room where I share all things crafting, planning, and DIY. My name is Charity and I am so happy to have you here with me. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my pen case video. So essentially this is the planner or stationary version of what's in my purse or what's in my makeup bag. Um, but I recently got this new pen case. I've had it for maybe about a month now and it has been so awesome to just store all the things I need for my on the go planning, which I do in my micro happy planner. And so today I'm just gonna do kind of like a short overview of this pen case and then I'm going to share everything that I use for on the go planning. So if you are interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. Okay, so starting with the pen case itself, this is the East Hill Big Capacity Pen Case, and I just got this off Amazon. I will leave a link in the description, but I really love that it is this pretty, like, two-tone pencil case. The top is this undyed, very neutral canvas, and then I got the khaki color, so the back is this nice warm tan. This pencil case does come in a few other colors. I think they have like a pink and a navy and a really nice yellow, um, so that is a nice option if you are interested in a color, but I just got this very neutral, kind of like classic khaki color, and so this pen case has a nice little pocket here at the front, which I generally don't use too much, but it is a nice option to have for adding like quick notes and things too. And then it has two side zippers. So the first one actually opens the pen case and you know gets to all your goodies. And then this is actually an expandable pen case. And so the second zipper is the one that allows you to expand this like back pouch area. So I generally just leave mine zipped closed because I like having a more compact pen case. It's easier to throw in my work bag and you know, it's just easier. But I do like that this has the option to be, you know, adjustable and larger if needed, especially if you are someone who maybe changes your on the go planning style a lot and needs the option to sometimes carry more supplies. I definitely would suggest this because that is a really nice, just flexible option about this pen case. So the one thing that I don't really love about this pen case is definitely this tag. It says, be young, be unique, special, you are one in a million, which I guess is a nice sentiment, but it's definitely, I think, a little too much for my taste. Um, but that's totally fine because obviously the tag does not in any way hinder the ability for this to be a functional pen case for actually holding my supplies. So let's jump in and I will just kind of share with you all of my on the go planning supplies. So these are what I use in my micro happy planner and they've been really functional for me. So when you open the pen case, this is what it looks like. On the left-hand side here, there is this mesh pocket with a nice zipper. I like that this has a zipper closure to hold everything in place. And then this has this center flap, which is again, that nice deep khaki color. And it has five pen loops with this additional mesh pocket, which I think is just really nice to help hold all your pens in place. And then on the back side, this back part here is that expandable pocket. And so for now, I just have pretty much a bunch of brush pens back here, um, which we'll go through in more detail in a second. But first I'm going to start with this pocket here. And this is where I really just keep like some sticky notes and a couple other tools and items. So first I have one of the small post-it note brand little sticky note pads and then I also have some post-it note page flags. Both of those I just kind of use for marking different spots in my planner on the go. I also have these plain white post-it note brand tabs. These are removable so 
that just makes them, I think, a really nice option for on-the-go planning and organizing. I also have in here some washi dots, and so let me get what this actually comes on. Okay, so these washi dots actually come on a roll like this, and so for on-the-go planning, all I did was I took a little section of the roll and I taped it, you know, front and back to a piece of cardstock, and then I can just remove that and add another piece whenever I run out of dots. So that's been, I think, really helpful. I've been loving these dots in my Micro Happy Planner. And then finally in this pocket, I also just keep a pair of tweezers mainly to help me remove and position these washi dots. And this I also got off Amazon um, in a three pack. So I will link that below, but I really love that it comes with a little like protected case over the tip there and just kind of keeps these tweezers secure and prevents them from ripping through the mesh in this pencil case. But yeah, so that is everything I keep in this front pocket. Again, it's not too much stuff, but it's, I feel like, just like the perfect amount of things that I need and use when I am planning on the go. Now in the center flap here, I keep two types of pens. The first is my all time favorite pen ever, which is the Sharpie pen. This is their original pen with the felt tip. I love felt tip pens. They are absolutely my favorite. I like them far more than gel pens and ballpoint pens. However, I am slowly coming around to fine gel pens. So I do also carry in here a couple of the Sharpie S gel pens, and I have this in the 0.5, which is, I believe it's their fine one. Um, I think 0.7 is their medium size, and then one is considered bold. So I have been liking this, and I definitely would be interested in trying a gel pen at a 0.3, because I do really love how small my writing is with this pen. And so that's been really nice for, you know, using in my micro planner and my micro inserts. So I generally use a combination of these two, but again, I think this felt pen will always just be my first choice. <laughs> and then behind that, I have all of my brush pens, well, a selection of my brush pens, but all of the ones I use in on the go planning. And so um, let me put these aside and we'll go over them. The other thing I have back here is just a eight inch ruler, which is helpful from time to time. And I have to say this pen case, the main reason I chose this one is because it was long enough or tall enough to actually fit an eight inch ruler and my Tombow brush pens. I feel like there are so many pen cases out there that are really cute and would be totally functional for most supplies. However, the Tombows are just so long that you really need a pen case that is at least eight inches or more um, wide or in height. And so I really like that this backspace can fit both these Tombows and an eight inch ruler. But for my Tombows, I have, let me grab it. I have a little key that I use in my micro. So let me grab that real fast. Oh, okay, sorry if this looks a little different. I just had to tear apart my craft room looking for my micro so I could get this. Um, but what I was saying is I, have selected Tombows that coordinate as best as I could get with my washi dots. And so um, I have 772 here, which works really nice with this blush dot. I have 990, which is not a perfect match, but it is pretty close. And when combined with this pink down here, it looks a lot like that washi dot. I also have 912, which is this nice, like corally orange color. 942, which is really pretty. I love this one. 977, a really nice brown. Again, this is not like a perfect match, but again, it coordinates pretty well. 
And then I have two just neutral colors that I thought worked well with the palette overall. And so I have a warm tone gray N89 and then this very light pink 800. And I actually had to do two strokes with this to get it that color. So this is a really light color but I mainly use these for highlighting in my micro. And actually I very recently did a functional plan with me in my micro inserts. And so I will try to remember to link that in the description in case you're interested in seeing how I use these. But I really love that overall, it's a pretty neutral color palette. And certainly I will swap some of these out from time to time if I'm changing up the colors in my planner. But for now, these are the main Tombos that I use. And that pretty much completes this video. That is everything in my pencil case. And again, this case is the East Hill Big Capacity Pen Case. Perfect for on the go planning and I definitely would suggest it. Um, I, again, will try to link everything I have here in the description below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This was kind of just a short and fun one. If you did like it, please hit the like button for me so I know and consider subscribing if you are interested in other crafting, planning, and DIY videos. Thank you so much for being here with me, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.